This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part 5 of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on reinstalling Windows XP. Now in this segment, I'm going to show you what you need to do in case you put your Windows disk in your drive and never got the prompt to press any key to boot to CD, and you booted right back into your existing version of Windows. The problem there is a problem in CMOS. You see here in Wikipedia, CMOS stands for Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductor. I find it easier to say CMOS. And what that is is the settings for your computer in the BIOS, Basic Input Output System. You can also find articles on boot order in Google. So basically, when your computer ships, it has a specified boot order that's arranged in the CMOS that says boot to drive A, then boot to the hard drive C, and then boot to the CD, or boot to the CD, then to the hard drive, then to the USB device. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and change that. Now when your computer starts, you always see the screen where it's checking your memory and so on, and there's always a prompt that says press delete to go into setup, press F2. F2 and delete are the two most common keys that I've seen because copies of CMOS are going to vary from computer to computer. So it's not possible for me to sh tell you exactly what yours will look like, but it will look something similar. So you're going to watch for that prompt when the computer first starts. Press delete. To go into setup. Press delete. Now you'll be in the CMOS settings. Now some will be laid out with categories like main, advanced, power, boot, security, and so on. If you see one called boot, move over to it. You move around in CMOS basically with the arrow keys. Sometimes the plus and minus keys change option. And F10 universally is to save and exit your changes. You can't really hurt anything in here. Don't change things you don't need to change. So if you see something that's called boot, go to that. Another way is if you see advanced BIOS features, highlight that. That's a common place to find boot order. Go into advanced BIOS features and you may see something like first boot device, second boot device, third boot device, boot other device. And what you want is to change it so that the CD-ROM is the first boot device. Then you can have floppy, then hard drive. The thing is to understand is that if there is nothing in those drives, and if you don't press a key, if there is, they'll still boot to your hard drive. So you don't have to worry about it, but it's a handy feature in case you need to boot to a CD or DVD. So make that change, then press F10 to save your change. You may be prompted to confirm that you want to save and exit. Your computer will reboot. Now, if you have your Windows disk still in the drive, you'll boot to the drive and get that prompt to press any key to boot from CD. Press a key and we'll be rolling. So, that concludes part five and that's all there is to it.